Welcome back to the show. You're watching Capital Connection, and we are going to take a quick check on the currency markets. Here's some of the uh, the live action for you right now. Sterling 161.68. The Aussie dollar currently standing at 89, uh, 72 against the against the US dollar. Let's also check where the euro stands right now. 142.92 um, is where we are. Plainly during 2009, it was a story of the euro strengthening against the dollar, with the um, uh, with the dollar against the yen also showing some um, fairly consistent signs during the period as well. Um, currently standing at 97.76. Let's check in with uh, Mario Singh, co-founder and CEO of FX1 Academy. Um, Mario, let's just start by getting your look ahead to, uh, to what's going to happen this year, 2010. Where does the dollar go next? Well, before I answer that, let's, let's take a very quick look at how the dollar performed the last one month. Um, it's interesting to see that there was a lot of volatility in the last one month, how the dollar strengthened, in fact, the last two weeks towards the end of the year. But uh, more than to say that I don't feel it's a lot of, uh, it wasn't backed by fundamentals at least. What is important to note towards the last two weeks, typically in any year end, is that many traders and fund managers, they, they close their books. So you see a lot, of uh, a lot of volatility, a lot of swings in the dollar. Um, but this year then, a lot of people will be reinitiating their dollar positions. So um, my take is that in the first few months, at least we'll see a continuation in the rally, or rather the strength of the dollar um, heading towards the start of 2010. What about comments from Mr. Ben Bernanke overnight saying that, hey, you know, they're, they're looking at raising rates when the time is right. So how much of fuel is, is that going to give to the dollar rally that you're talking about? It's giving quite a lot of fuel now, actually, but um, towards, the, say, the first half a year, uh, many people are not pricing in that rate hike yet, but uh, about 70% of the market is pricing in a rate hike towards August, um, August 2010. So that is building up sentiments now. I mean, that's what they're trying to I do. I mean, how, how high do you think this dollar rally is going to go right now? Now we're, uh, we're pretty much looking at 78. So I don't think that's going to happen too much. I do see the dollar really hitting up, um, at least for the dollar yen. We're looking at the major currencies. Yes, I do see that start of the year. So what sort of dollar yen levels are you looking at? I'm looking at dollar yen, say, for the first half. It will probably hit higher to, say, maybe 96, 97. But thereafter, I do see the hitting a bit down again. So there's going to be a lot of fueling of dollar strength because that's what the U.S. is happening. Um, jobless claims have fallen down. So pretty much good news for the dollar, at least the first half of the year. Uh, Mario, how about the euro? We've obviously had um, uh, various problems uh, in, in Europe, particularly in Greece uh, most recently. Where does the euro go now? Euro is a little bit tricky now. Um, we saw a lot of the, the, the credit defaults, or may I say the downgrading of the credit ratings of Greece, of Spain, uh, out of Ireland now. So we do see the euro has been a strong downtrend at least the last couple of months um, because I do see the dollar strengthening the next couple of months at least. So I do see euro dollar dropping. But towards the end of the year, my take in 2010 is that we will see euro dollar hitting fresh highs again. It will probably break 150 and it, towards 155 is my take of how the euro dollar is going to go. So that's a new um, push about 1,000 pips of what we see now today. Okay, and uh, how, how does sterling compare uh, when we look at what's happening in some of the major European economies? It's a great question, Becky. Now, uh, for sterling, um, I'm always looking at my, my forex trades as a short-term, long-term. So short-term, I do see the pound, or rather the sterling, still dropping. It's hovering about 160 now. I do see it testing 160. It's probably going to drop below 160 for the first few months because um, it's still mired in... Uh, I would say it's still might in, in, uh, in recession. Um, the sterling, or rather the UK as a whole, hasn't pulled themselves out of um, recession. If you're looking at all the data in terms of their GDP, in terms of their jobless um, rates. So it's going to be a bit tricky for the pound. I do see it having a little bit of fluctuations. In fact, it's going to be weak for the first half of 2010. Mm, and if you think dollar yen you know, goes to 96 or around that range, what are some key technical levels to watch out for in terms of seeing when the dollar loses its position as the funding currency for carry trades. Now, the, the carry trade, if you're going to look at, say, the whole of 209, in fact, uh, where the dollar is now, rather the dollar yen is now, it pretty much didn't move as much as for the whole year. So if you're going to look at the dollar yen, uh, where it started this year, 
um, as compared to where it started on, on, I would say, the starting of 2009. Mm. Pretty much didn't move a lot. But at technical levels, obviously, we're looking at, uh, say, about 96. So 96 is probably a point where it's going to start to come down again. Um, and obviously, what we saw in November 26, how the dollar hit um, just below 85, 84, I think it was 84, 85. So that's going to be a, a, a very, very strong support in terms of how the dollar is going to play out. Mm, and in terms of commodity currencies, I would expect more support. You're suggesting that China is going to help pull the world out of recession through its demand of raw materials and commodities. So this Aussie dollar parity with the U.S. dollar, when do you expect that to happen? When do I expect that to happen now? I, I, I'm very bullish on the, on the Aussie dollar right now. Um, even though I think today we are seeing it's just below 90, I think it's about 89, um, mm. 89, 65. I'm expecting parity towards the end of next year. Uh, but next make no, uh, sorry, end of this year, we're reading 2010. Yeah, so towards the <laughs> 1st December 2010, I'm seeing the, uh, the Aussie dollar go to parity. But make no mistake about it, Chloe, it is true that um, China has really helped the whole world pull itself out of recession in terms of their demand for raw materials. It's absolutely astounding. The Aussie dollar strengthened about 27% the whole of 2009, primarily because of uh, the demand from China. Mm, take a look at PMI numbers out today. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Mario, thanks so much for that. Mario Singh, co-founder and CEO of FX1 Academy. And just ahead, Wall Street wrapped up 2009 with a bang. Well, what does 2010 hold? We're going to get some expert analysis when we come back. And plus, before we head out into a break, James Cameron's 3D sci-fi epic Avatar.